The Rutgers Coastal Climate Risk and Resilience Initiative is funded by the National Science Foundation and it's a training program for our graduate students. The concept behind it is that to have our students become the coastal climate risk problem solvers that we need here in New Jersey, they need to have a broader understanding outside of their discipline, whether it's geology or geography or engineering or environmental science or community planning. There are many parts of the world that are vulnerable to climate change. One of them is the coasts, and that's of particular interest to us at Rutgers because we sit in one of the world's sprawling urban uh, mega regions, right? The, the region from Washington to Boston, the region from Philadelphia to New York. And there are a lot of risks facing our mega regions because of its exposure on the coast. We have communities up and down uh, the northeast coastline, up and down the Jersey coastline, that are facing risks from rising seas and intensifying storms. Um, we have more frequent uh, tidal flooding, we have more intense storm flooding, um, and we have to reckon with the fact that the shapes of our communities and our cities are going to change in response to this. This program is critically important because what we hear from decision makers is that to be able to solve the challenges of climate resilience, professionals need to be able to think across disciplines. But they also can't just talk to themselves. They have to actually be able to communicate with the people who have um, the problems on the ground. They also need to understand that building resilience is not just about structures. Um, it's not just about raising houses or building bridges differently. It's about the needs of communities and about people. And so this program includes components that allow our students to understand how people um, react to resilience, how people react to risk, how to work with decision makers to use science to inform their actions. The studio workshop that I participated in was a culmination of several classes that we took for our program. And so it was a kind of like a capstone experience where we were applying some of the tools and techniques that we had learned for the past year and a half. Um, and the goal of the studio was to incorporate resilience into local planning initiatives and take those lessons learned um, from working with local municipalities and share what we learned with the Office of Planning Advocacy in uh, the state level, New Jersey. Thank you, Mayor and members of the council for giving us a little bit of time tonight. The students will give you an overview of some of the outcomes of their work over the last several months. The studio um, was pretty much focusing on working with two towns, uh, Keensburg and Atlantic Highlands, both, both on the Jersey Shore. And we work with them to help assess their municipal resilience plans and overall help them become more resilient. The partnership with Rutgers was awesome because these young ladies did all of this work and all of this digging and all of this final report, brought it to a conclusion, and it didn't cost us anything. That's awesome. The students, uh, they actually were phenomenal. They had a lot of energy, uh, a lot of questions. Uh, they thought outside the box which for my uh, involvement was great. Uh, they actually brought a lot of things to my eyes as to uh, a different way of thinking ab about certain issues or certain problems or uh, areas that, hey, maybe we need to, th to think about this a little bit more in, in the planning stage. What's particularly impactful for me is that the studio has given me a really good in-depth snapshot of what it's like working at the municipal level on climate change issues. Being able to speak to community members about what their ideas of resilience are, what they view as their community looking like in 10, 20, 30 years, and what they want. There's something about being able to apply your personal knowledge to help other people that makes it just really fulfilling. I had no idea the nuances of local governance and just all that goes into making even the smallest decision because any resilience question that you answer is tied to 
countless other threads of social or economic issues that you have to think about. This effort was so well received that we've actually decided to move forward with creating what we're calling a climate resilience core, using some of our um, seasoned graduate students to be able to work in partnership with other municipalities. We're developing this core under the umbrella of the New Jersey Climate Change Resource Center, which is a center that was established by a law signed by Governor Murphy that brings the expertise of the academic community to be able to help inform decision makers, whether that's at the state level or at the community level or in the private sector or within uh, nonprofit organizations to be able to address climate change challenges here in New Jersey. And universities, particularly the land grants, but really all universities with the resources have a crucial role to play here. Bringing together the expertise of the scientific community and the research community with stakeholders to ensure that we're doing the research that can actually inform uh, their problems. I would think that if Rutgers and the Blaustein School, you know, were to continue with this type of studio plan, um, many communities, not just Atlantic Highlands and Keensburg, could benefit from, from the work. We're, we're always looking to gain insight uh, and I mean one of, the, one of the basic advantages of it is that uh, the cost was just our time and if we had to have 10 professionals which I consider these graduate students as junior professionals. And uh, uh, if you had to pay for all this, this was a, a bonanza for us, okay? Especially for a community such as ourselves. People often ask me whether I'm optimistic about our state's future in light of changing climate conditions. And my answer is always, I am very optimistic, and that optimism stems mostly from working with the type of students I've had the opportunity to work with. They are dynamic, they are bright, they are problem solvers, and they are committed to um, healthy, safe, and resilient futures for our state.